In this video, we're going to review how to create a variable cap in OpenBridge Modeler. Here I already have an example in which this is a standard cap, right? It's a peer with a standard cap and I want this to modify this. Uh, and what's the best way to do it? I will go to the libraries and go to peers and select a multi-line column peer. So the best way to do it is to take an existing one and modify it according to your needs. So here, for example, we've got one in my library, right? Gloria, called Floria peer variable. And I want to do exactly like that, maybe with different dimensions. How you set this up? Well, as I said, the easiest way to do it is to say, I want to copy this and I'm going to call it test variable cap. So then my library will be intact and I just can play with the new one. So done, uh, look for that. And it should goes to be on test variable cap right here. Then I can modify that. So be on edit. And let's see, this is the variable cap that I want to modify. Now, as you can see, they have different uh, segments, I would say with different heights too. Let's rotate, see how it looks like. Right. And let's turn this display mode to see the following. See these yellow lines, right? That how they represent the different breaks or segments that this cup will have. How are these defined? Okay, so the cup is set up as variable. So I just want to go straight to variable. Be careful, if you switch to these ones, then you will lose that breaks that you see and it will just default to a rectangular or inverted keycap. So I will still in variable and see what they are defined. As you can see, now let's go with the variable caps and this is how you do it. As you can see, it has default to a rectangular cap as I switch this. So. Anyway, let's do this. Distance zero. So distance zero will be starting from the left and the height is 60 inches. So let's set it up these to 10 inches and then update the drawing and see what happens. Okay, now I will add uh, another section and I would say that at a distance of let's see foot the height is going to 20 inches and I will just update the drawing and see what I'm getting okay so now I will add another section after that and I would say at a distance of 20 feet I got a height of 16 inches now. Update the drawing. And this is the distance. So this is how you add it. Now, as I said, nothing has changed. I will go back again and view and edit one more time. Then don't change this. Don't change here. I just go straight to variable sections and review one more time I can review that at a distance of zero it's a 19 inch so this little notch here then a 1.6 feet is going to 78 and so if I want to double check these dimensions I just one more time going to rotate it change the display mode and these are the dimensions that we're talking about. So let's play one more time. And say, for example, that at a distance of, let's exaggerate here, of 100 inches, update drawing. You see how this has changed? So this is how you recreate it. Now, from this point, from 
distance of 1.6 feet and 78 inches down so this point is going to go almost 10 feet almost 10 feet or I can change it to 10 feet and it's going to go to an elevation let me change it here to 110 and it's going to be a parabolic start so it's going to go this way yeah, you want to see how it's happen when it goes the other way are they drawing oh, uh, maybe that's not what I want right and then just like that you keep advancing through the cap and setting up the dimensions. So I would say it would be a pretty good idea to have a layout, a previous layout of your variable cap to see how you want it to look like and then what dimensions from what distance from the left you want to apply to get the proper results. This will not be parametric because remember you are setting up dimensions. So if your cap changes in length here, for example, Right? If you add it up, it's going to be around 82 feet. If you need, for example, an 100 foot cap, so then you will have to go and change the dimensions here because this will not change parametric. And saying that, this new test variable cap is ready to go. So, okay. And now it is part of my library. I go to my peer line I can go and modify it as I want to change the superstructure template and now go switch template and it needs to be the test variable cap that I just created select that's the one I want and it's done as you can see it's no parametric that's why seeing this length right but the only the column will be parametric because you set it up accordingly and we are going to review that on the next videos thank you